Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Welcome back, everyone. Going to start out with a little bit of history tonight. We're going to start out here in the uh, Eastern Pacific. This is Tropical Depression 1E, the earliest tropical system ever out in the Eastern Pacific to form this early. Never in April have we had a uh, tropical depression out there, so not going to affect anything, but just a little bit of history out there in the open waters of the Pacific. Here's a look at today's highs. A pretty nice day, although it did feel just a little bit chilly out there. It's been so warm lately with those temperatures in the 70s. When we get into the 50s and 60s with a little bit of wind, it felt a little cold out there. I actually threw on a, a sweatshirt today instead of just having those uh, short sleeves on. Right now, things have cooled off a little bit here. Take a look. There's a wide look at the state right now. We'll zoom it in for a closer look at the temperatures in your neighborhood. 45 in Mobridge, you're at 49 in the capital city, 46 to the west in Dickinson, 43 in Dunn Center as well as Ashley. Further to the north, about the same thing. Most places in the mid to upper 40s. 47, good evening to our friends in Minot. To the northwest in Kenmare, they're at 45 and already 39 near the international border in the Crosby area. The satellite radar picture, you'll see skies clearing. We are getting a nice break. We had an earlier system finally press off. We've not a nice little wedge of some clearing skies, but back across the west, you can see more clouds are filtering in from the west. So increasing clouds for, I think, northern sections. I think for Bismarck tonight, they'll stay mostly clear, as I said to start out the top of the show. But Dickinson, you'll be seeing some increasing clouds. We do have some scattered chances of precipitation a little bit tomorrow. This particular model is a little bit more rambunctious, showing the amount of moisture. A lot of this uh, either will not reach the ground or will be very hit or miss. I think the best chance for a sprinkle tomorrow afternoon will be along the Highway 2 corridor. A better chance for precipitation to fall from the sky will come Monday night and into Tuesday. You'll see that moving here by Monday afternoon, Monday evening. Probably an embedded thunderstorm or so within this system, but probably nothing severe. Here's what the Storm Prediction Center is saying. Non-severe storms from about Lake Sakakawea and to the south. Quickly, I want to show you this map. This shows us how we're doing moisture-wise. The darker the reds, this is, uh, they are just 5 to 25 percent of average rainfall. So everywhere you see this red, well below average for the year precipitation-wise, it gets a little better back across the east, but not much. And if I show you the drought monitor, this is about a month ago, March 29th, very little dry conditions. But you can see how quickly that expands over the past month until this is actually today's data. Basically, all of western and northwestern North Dakota under that uh, some abnormally dry conditions. Because of that, a fire weather watch has been put into effect for northwestern counties. Goes into effect at noon tomorrow and lasts through 8 o'clock. Low humidity, gusty winds, and dry conditions will increase the chances for fire danger. You can see here these dew points tomorrow in the teens. So it's going to be a, a dry a day tomorrow, so watch out. Lows tonight mostly in the 40s and 30s. 37 in Bismarck, 34 in Linton. Here's your three-day forecast for the Dickinson area. Increasing clouds tomorrow. Some showers Monday night. And then mostly sunny for your Tuesday. We'll finish here with the three-day forecast for Williston. You can see some uh, fire conditions possible on Sunday. A couple of sprinkles Monday. And then a couple of scattered showers Tuesday. I will get to the extended forecasts for Bismarck and Minot. Renee coming up in our last look. Sounds good. Thanks so much, Robert. Coming up next in sports, find out how NDSU did in this year's NFL Draft.